I'm Raymond Chandler, an attorney with the Polaris Law Group, an estate planning and elder law firm out of St. Charles, Missouri. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the kind of five pieces of an estate plan. A lot of clients will come in and people will ask us about, you know, what is an estate plan? What, what documents do I need? What does that even entail? Um, well, what a lot of times is it entails kind of five big pieces, not necessarily documents, but big pieces of, an estate, of, of, of your estate to make an estate plan. So the first one we see a lot of times, what most people have is beneficiary designations. So a beneficiary designation is something that you attach to an asset that you own, like life insurance, retirement account, something of that nature that says, this is where you want this to go when you pass away. And so that's one form and one piece of an estate plan. The next piece is a last will and testament. Um, so last will and testament lays out your wishes as to what, where your where your assets go after you die if they go through the probate process. So that's what a last will and testament it is, is your instructions to the probate court as to how you want things to work when you pass away. Another piece, very important, is a power of attorney, a power of attorney for legal and financial matters. And that's naming someone that could s sit in your shoes to take care of you if you can't. So a lot of times that's for disability planning, is naming someone who can write your checks, cash your checks, pay your bills, um, sign contracts on your behalf, sue on your behalf, things of that nature. That's a power of attorney for financial and legal matters. Um, the next document is a power of attorney for health care matters. And that's putting someone in charge of health care decisions for you, again, when you can't make those decisions. So if you're not in a position where you can communicate to the doctors about how you want to be treated, what type of treatment you want, what type of surgeries you want, all the way down to is it time to pull the plug, that's what a health care power of attorney helps with is naming someone that you know, trust, that will make the right decisions, you name that person to be in charge at that point in time. A lot of times attached to that health care power of attorney is either a living will or advanced directive, laying out your instructions to the health care industry, to your health care providers as to how you want to be treated if you're in a position where you can't communicate. So again, if you're in a position where you're, you're just unable to tell the doctors how you want to be treated or what you want done, you need that document in place to be able to do that. And then the last document a lot of families will have is a living trust or revocable living trust or a loving trust or any type of con any type of name that you give that type of that trust. Now, trusts are hard to talk about because there's such a wide variety of uses for trust, a wide variety of needs for trust for all sorts of different planning goals. And it not, isn't necessarily just the uber rich worrying about estate taxes. We're worrying about protections and instructions and sometimes we use a trust to take care of um, long-term care housing um, payments. Um, all sorts of things can be put into a trust. So a lot of times if you want a very robust plan that really tells exactly what your instructions are, protects your family, protects you during all four stages of your estate, then that's what a trust is going to be for. So those are really the five kind of pieces you want to look at is the beneficiary designations, the last will and testament, your durable power of attorney for financial and legal matters, your power of attorney for health care matters with an attached advanced directive, and then a living trust. And those are the documents, those are the pieces that you want to make sure talk to each other, work with each other, are all reviewed on a regular basis to make sure they're kept up to date with you and your estate and make sure that those are the pieces that you have in place to make sure you and your family are taken care of. So again, I'm Raymond Chandler with Polaris Law Group, and we do estate planning. And if you have any questions about anything, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching.